Assembly drawings. Learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to know the parts of the engine, explain the machine parts, analyze the working of valves. Outcomes. By the end of this topic, you will be able to achieve an understanding of the parts of the engine and the functions, know the different types of valves. Engine parts. A machine is an assembly of various links or parts. Each part is completely dimensioned to facilitate easy fabrication. It is essential to know some parts of the engine in the simple forms. Let us discuss in detail about some of the major parts of the engine. Stuffing boxes, cross heads, eccentrics, connecting rod, piston assembly. Stuffing box. Where fluid leakage, past a rotating or sliding shaft is required to be done. A stuffing box packed with sealing material is interposed. The seal material is compressed and so exerts a radial pressure on the shaft, thus preventing fluid flow. Thus, a provision to compress the seal ring pack is necessary. A gland to seat the seal rings and a nut to compress the seal are must for stuffing box. These parts have to be concentric with the shaft and firmly fixed to prevent the seal from rotation. Assembly drawing of a stuffing box is given here. Cross head. The connecting rod has an oscillating movement and it is connected to the piston rod, which has a reciprocating movement. The cross head is the intermediary part where rotation and linear motion are combined. It is made with various forms and is attached with a piston rod by the cotter. Eccentrics. A part which is eccentrically offset with respect to the center line of a rotating shaft produces a linear motion called as stroke or throw. Where the linear movement or stroke is small, the eccentric drive provides an ideal means of converting rotation of an engine or electric motor. Also, it is possible to transit large axle forces. In the three lobbed cam, three circular arc profiles are merged tangentially. The centers of the two arcs are eccentric. The resulting upward valve movement is smooth and with very low jerks. The eccentric movement is commonly used in jigs and fixtures for rapid clamping action. The sheave with eccentric shaft center has a rim on the periphery which runs inside the grooves of a split strap. Such eccentric sheave is used to actuate large vibratory screens. Connecting rod. Connecting rod is heavily stressed along its axis. Machining from forging an H-type section enables this to be lightweight.
The crank pin end is split for easy assembly in the case of large engines such as diesel engines. For smaller petrol engines, it may be integral with gudgeon pin and crank pin ends, maybe with needle bearings. Piston assembly. The piston has to be light in order to reduce engine vibration. So, it is normally made of aluminum alloy and wall thickness is kept to minimum. The gudgeon pin is seated in the cross hole, which is provided with buses for strength. Figure shows the piston of a petrol engine. Machine parts. Let us discuss in detail about the various machine parts like screw jacks, machine vices, plumber blocks, tail stock. Screw jacks. Jack refers to any lifting device. The mechanical leverage of screws are put to use in screw jacks, where a small applied force can be used to lift a heavy load. In many cases, the actuation may be motorized. Electric or pneumatic operation. The type of screw thread best suited for carrying load is the trapezoidal form. For light loads, the normal triangular form may be used. The square thread form is used in some occasions where low friction losses are required. But this thread is not of standard form and is more difficult to machine. A large number of devices use the inherent advantage of the screw mechanism. One, force is multiplied. Two, friction prevents automatic return to original. Three, movement is very fine. This is especially useful for A, clamping devices, B, lifting devices, and C, measuring instruments. Scissor type screw jack, commonly used for servicing of automobiles. Assembly drawing of a screw jack is given here. Drawing exercise for the screw jack. The figure shows a benchwise where the clamping force is applied by a power screw. Assuming that the jaw width is 75 mm, sketch details of individual parts and dimension proportionately. Machine Vices Function The vice is used to firmly hold workpiece during machining operation, such as milling, shaping, etc. Certain types of vices can be swiveled to offer the workpiece at an optimum angle with respect to the tool. Construction As shown in the figure, the plain machine vice has a fixed jaw, which is integral with the base. The moving jaw slides on the fixed base, actuated by the power screw, rotated by a crank-type lever. The screw is of square or trapezoidal form. Knurled insert made of hardened steel is screwed to the jaw for improving holding of the workpiece. The swivel vise has a swivel base which is pivoted on the fixed base. A clamp nut is provided to fix the position. Usually, a graduated scale is provided and a swivel angle can be read. The fixed base is clamped to the machine bed using T bolts. In the universal vise, a pair of pivoted bases provides two degrees of freedom in perpendicular access. These vices serve to hold small tools while grinding cutting faces. Plumber block function. In some instances, the distance between the engine and the load is large. The power transmitting shaft is long and requires intermediate support. Plumber blocks are the bearing housings used for this purpose. In some applications, several Y supports may be used aligned in line. The bearing could be journal bearing or for most medium or small sizes and friction bearings. Machined and ready to use housing or complete plumber blocks fitted with the bearing are standard commercially available items. Commonly, the plumber blocks used are the pedestal type. However, other types for wall or roof mounting are also available. These wall mounting types are very handy in machine building. Construction The plumber block housings are normally made of grey cast iron and machined. Housings made from sheet steel pressings are available for small sizes. The housing has been provided suitable grease nipples for lubrication of bearings. The mounting holes are usually with slotted hole for adjustment of the center distance while mounting.
The figure shows standard plumber block with an anti-friction bearing. The table gives the standard dimensions for plumber blocks for shaft diameter V45 and V50. Assembly drawing of a plumber block is given here. Tail stock. The tail stock of an engine lathe serves to support one end of long workpiece during the lathe operation. In addition, the spindle is with provision to mount chocks for holding cutting tools such as twist drills, cord drills, reamers, etc. Working principle. Spindle can be moved in or out of the body by the screw, running use in nut by rotation of hand wheel. Spindle can be clamped in the desired position by binding member, by actuating lever. For crosswise setting of the body, in reference to the base, the setting screw is rotated. Lengthwise adjustment of the tail stock along the lathe bed is made by action of strap clamp operated by the strap. Strap is actuated by the lever, eccentric shaft and link. Assembly drawing of a tail stock is given here. Exercise Let us do an exercise based on the concepts which we have discussed. 1. Sketch the individual components using the views provided and the given description of their functions. While sketching, use dimensions which are proportionate to one of the selected important dimension. Example Spindle diameter selected as 50 mm. 2. Where the view does not completely define the part, assume features or geometry based on the functional description given. 3. Prepare assembly drawing with the help of the individual part drawing prepared in question 2. Mark out where clearance is required to establish sliding movement between parts. Valves. A valve is a piece of mechanism the function of which is to check or control the flow of a fluid through a passage. Valves can be classified as stop valve, globe valve, pressure relief valve, non-return valve, check valve. Stop valve. The stop valve is a sub-assembly fitted to a fluid line. The function of the stop valve is to either start or stop the fluid flow. For manual operation, a lever or a hand wheel is provided. For remote operation, solenoid or pneumatic actuator may be used. The body of the valve is usually a casting and is machined. The valve plug is usually machined from a soft metal like brass or bronze to provide a tight seal against leakage. Globe valve. The plug which stops fluid flow is shaped like a globe or a mushroom. Designs of the globe valve to handle high pressures and temperatures are available. Stuffing box with seal pack has been used to prevent leakage past the valve spindle. The valve clamp can be tightened periodically using the bolts provided. Port size is generally nominal size. Port fitting could be either flanged, as shown, or screwed fitting, where the body is with threads. Pressure relief valve. When fluid pressure exceeds a safe limit, the valve plug lifts up from the valve seat and opens a passage for the fluid to vent out, thereby reducing the system pressure. Flow around the valve plug is improved by the grooved openings. Once the pressure has been reduced, the force exerted by the compression spring pushes the valve plug down and stops the flow. The load applied by the compression string can be reset using the adjusting nut which works against the spring cover.
New settings give a new relieving pressure. Non-return valve, NRV. The non-return valve makes the flow through the line unidirectional. The design of the plug is such that increasing fluid pressure closes the valve more firmly. The compression spring applies a light load to ensure zero leakage when the plug is closed. Non-return valve is an important item in hydraulic circuits. It may be necessary in hot water lines to prevent mixing of hot and cold fluids, causing loss of thermal energy. Let us do an exercise based on the concept of non-return valve. Draw component in assembly drawings using the above sketch. Assume A equal to 19 mm. Take other dimensions proportionately. Check valve. Check valves normally are used to control start or stop of the fluid flow through simple actuating movement like turning a lever through 90 degrees. The taper plug valve has a flow port machined in the plug. Fluid can flow only when this opening is facing the port in the valve body. The tapered plug is normally made of a soft metal like brass such that it provides a metal to metal sealing face with valve body. The needle valve uses a fine tapered plug, generally used where fluid flow rates are low and require fine control, especially with compressed air. Summary. Let's summarize the topic. Jack refers to any lifting device. The type of screw thread best suited for carrying load is the trapezoidal form. Device is used to firmly hold workpiece during the machining operation, such as milling, shaping, etc. Check valves normally are used to control start or stop of the fluid flow through simple actuating movement.